Hey guys, welcome to Have a Cosmic Cookie. Today we are going to see the top 10 cosmic events that occurred in the Marvel Universe. Some of them are having some possibilities to happen in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Cosmic events mean events that are all happening in the cosmos or events that are created by the cosmic entities. These events will happen for a long period with many stories inside them. This list is created on my thoughts and preferences, you can type your favorite list in the comments section below. Number 10. Marvel Contest of Champions. Marvel's very first limited series occurred in the Contest of Champions, where the Grandmaster challenges death to a game, which, if he wins, his fellow elder, the Collector, is revived. Both the Grandmaster and Death transported a chosen team of heroes from Earth and forced them into the contest against each other, which would be an interesting thing to see in the MCU, where heroes are divided and forced to compete. Furthermore, this short series introduced lots of new international Marvel heroes such as Shamrock, Talisman, and Defencer, so the event could introduce more diversity into the MCU with multiple new international characters. Number 9. Marvel Zombies. Teased in What If, Marvel Zombies spans multiple comic series and features a whole universe of zombified Marvel heroes and villains, which start to leak into other universes in desperate attempts to consume. What If? already introduced some strong zombies into the MCU, which are going to be expanded upon in the upcoming Marvel Zombies TV show, so there is a good chance that they could become more significant in the MCU's future and face off against the universe's heroes. This galactic threat could also introduce Elsa Bloodstone into the MCU, Marvel's resident monster hunter, which would be a treat for longtime Marvel comic fans and would set up some fantastic horror-filled MCU stories. Number 8. King in Black. One of Marvel's more recent events, The King in Black, introduced us to Null, the original creator of the symbiotes and one of the deadliest threats the universe has ever seen. Before attacking Earth, Null decimated multiple planets using his huge army of symbiote dragons and his weapon, the Necro Sword, which he forged from the first ever symbiote, All Black. Interestingly, Eddie Brock is the main protagonist of this cosmic event, so the MCU could bring back Tom Hardy's Venom in a very exciting way working alongside MCU heroes like Doctor Strange and Spider-Man. It would be incredible to see the symbiote dragons come to life on the big screen, and it would be interesting to see different Marvel heroes getting possessed by symbiotes. Number 7. War of the Realms. In War of the Realms, Malekith the Accursed attacks Midgard, Earth, and attempts to conquer it in his quest to control all nine realms. In this cosmic comic event, Midgard is the last realm Malekith needs to conquer. Most of us MCU fans agree that Malekith was one of the franchise's most wasted villains, so he deserves a second chance in the spotlight, and a War of the Realms movie event could help fans see him as the truly evil villain he is. Moreover, with Jane Foster becoming another version of Thor in the upcoming Thor Love and Thunder, and the MCU's next saga being seemingly multiverse-based, now would be the perfect time to introduce the Thor Cops into the MCU, a team founded within the Galactic Comic event that helps take down Malekith in a jaw-dropping battle. Also, the comic's explosive color palette matches the same theme as Thor Ragnarok, so it would be a perfect adaptation for the MCU. Number 6. Secret Invasion. The Skrulls have been unsuccessfully trying to invade planet Earth since Fantastic Four No. 2, when Johnny Storm showed them a copy of a Marvel Monster comic, and they freaked out, and in 2007 they came as close to absolute victory as they ever may. Long known as warring shapeshifters, the Skrulls developed the ability to scientifically mirror the heroes of Earth that have vexed them throughout time. By implanting sleeper Skrulls in all areas of Earth, S.H.I.E.L.D., the Avengers Mansion cleaning staff, the Skrulls can completely take the Earth by surprise. In a lot of ways, the build-up to Secret Invasion and the mystery behind the villainous forces lying in wait for the new Avengers is much more tantalizing than the actual event. We still get excited thinking about the shadowy benefactor funding Electro's breakout of the supervillain prison, the Raft. Nonetheless, the tagline, who can you trust, plays out effectively, with heroes completely in the dark about how might turn out to be Skrull. Of all the Brian Michael Bendis wrote Marvel events of the number zero secret invasion is truly the most cosmic, relying on the reader's knowledge of the status of the Skrull population after events like Galactus and Annihilation struck their population. Number 5. Infinity War. The title of Avengers 3, Infinity War the comic book event will go down as a forever underrated sequel to 1991's Infinity Gauntlet. 
Admittedly, fans of the MCU version of the story turning to Infinity War No. 1 for similarities are in for a wild ride. For all intents and purposes, Infinity War the comic book event picks up where Avengers Infinity War ends. Thanos is living his best retirement out on the farm, when the Magus, Adam Warlock's evil half, returns with the full might of five cosmic cubes and an army of Earth hero doppelgangers. Infinity War delivers deliciously enjoyable team-ups like Thanos working with Warlock and the Infinity Watch, including Daughter Gamora and Nemesis Drax the Destroyer, and Doctor Doom and Kang the Conqueror scouring the edges of the war in their pursuit of power, silently vowing to murder the other the entire time. Not to mention the fact that Galactus recruits Doctor Strange in his efforts to prevent the Magus from universal domination and destruction. As a whole, the event is uneven and descends into writer Jim Starlin's penchant for swollen philosophizing, but there aren't too many books that rival the scope on display. Number 4. Galactus Arrival. Throughout Marvel's history, Galactus has been a constant cosmic threat to Earth and the universe as a whole, and fans are eagerly awaiting his entrance into the MCU. Galactus is one of the most powerful villains in the Marvel Universe, so it comes as no surprise that the MCU community desperately wants to see him on the big screen. Galactus's arrival would also introduce the fan-favorite Silver Surfer into the MCU, who would warn Earth's heroes of the fast-approaching threat, the Devourer of Worlds. It would truly be a spectacle to see, as Galactus is not only bigger than a planet, but also more powerful than all the Infinity Stones, so he would be an even bigger threat than Thanos. Number 3. Annihilation. Marvel Cosmic wasn't necessarily dead before Annihilation rolled around, but apart from a Drax miniseries here and a Thanos ongoing there, it was certainly on life support. Impressively, Annihilation not only kicked off an epic universe-spanning event, but it rejuvenated nearly every conceivable corner of the Marvel Cosmic spacescape. The event acts like superglue across disparate elements of the Marvel Cosmic world, drawing in seemingly unrelated characters like Nova, Star-Lord, Drax, and Gamora, while simultaneously developing an all-new cosmic threat in the form of Annihilus, previously confined to mostly Fantastic Four stories set in the Negative Zone, here in league with Thanos. More so than perhaps any cosmic event between 2000 to 2010, Annihilation makes incredibly great use of tie-in miniseries. Indeed, by the time readers launch into the main event proper with Annihilation No. 1, the Nova Cops has been decimated, the Annihilation Wave is fully locked in Universal War, and Thanos' schemes to uncover the cosmic powers of Galactus and Silver Surfer are already in full swing. Writer Keith Giffen does some of his absolute best Marvel work, building a cosmic tapestry that weaves in a mature Richard Rider, reborn Peter Quill, nearly unrecognizable compared to his MCU Star Lord persona and countless other players that have become staples since this time. Number 2. World War Hulk. After the Illuminati banished Hulk from Earth, the spacecraft they used exploded, killing Hulk's pregnant wife. Blaming the Illuminati for her death, and more powerful than ever, because of his time spent absorbing the radiation levels on planet Sacker, Hulk returns to Earth for revenge with his allies, the Warbound, Heroim, Korg, Elo Kaifi, Meek, no name of the brood, Archie 5912, and Mung. Stopping at the moon, the Hulk defeats inhuman King Black Bolt. The Hulk proceeds to Manhattan, New York, where he demands the presence of the Illuminati. He travels to the home of the X-Men, where Professor X, absent from the decision to send the Hulk off planet, admits he would have agreed with the decision, but also tells him he would not have agreed to permanent exile. The Hulk defeats several teams of X-Men and battles the Juggernaut, but leaves after learning of the M-Day incident, believing that Xavier has suffered enough. The Hulk returns to Manhattan and battles the superhuman operative Team Gamma Corps and Ghost Rider. Hulk defeats Iron Man, destroying Stark Tower in the process. The Hulk and his Warbound next defeat the new Avengers, the Mighty Avengers, Doc Samson, and the Fantastic Four, including Black Panther and Storm. The Hulk attaches obedience discs to the defeated, imprisoned superheroes, preventing them from using their powers. The Hulk then encounters Doctor Strange, who mystically merges with a powerful old enemy, Zom. Hulk defeats the Zom-possessed Doctor Strange, causing the demonic entity to flee. The Sentry arrives and attacks the Hulk. Sentry and the Hulk battle, leveling the city, until they revert into Robert Reynolds and Bruce Banner, with Reynolds passing out. Angered that the Hulk disappeared, Warbound member Meek attacks Banner. Rick Jones pushes Banner aside and is injured, causing Banner to return to Hulk form. 
As the Hulk attacks the Warbound, Meek reveals the explosion that started this war was not caused by the Illuminati, but by Red King loyalists. Meek chose not to prevent it, hoping the incident would encourage the Hulk to keep destroying. Overwhelming rage causes the Hulk to unwillingly radiate energy that threatens Earth. Stark activates a series of weaponized satellites that open fire on the Hulk, leaving him unconscious in his Bruce Banner form. Number 1. Secret Wars 2015. All, hail, doom. The final stroke in Jonathan Hickman's Marvel Universe work could have easily gone quickly off the rails. After all, the 2015 Secret Wars is a rebrand of an existing Marvel Universe cosmic event, and for all intents and purposes, the event pulled an age of apocalypse, with every single Marvel title pausing, because everything is Secret Wars. Reunited with artist Esid Ribic, Hickman delivered a perfect conclusion to themes and development he'd built through the likes of Fantastic Four and Avengers. Factor in an onslaught of alternate reality tie-ins of generally very high caliber, and Secret Wars, 2015, is the most entertaining Marvel Comics playground in the history of the publisher. Admittedly, much of the cosmic appeal of the event stems from ideas more typically associated with the DC Universe, as Doctor Doom fends off the collision of a near-infinite supply of Earths across the multiverse. At its core, though, Secret Wars, 2015, is Marvel through and through, with cosmic favorites like Thanos, Groot, and Star-Lord, all playing essential roles in the event's conclusion, before the inevitable showdown between Reed Richards and Victor Von Doom. After all, everything lives. I have also started a series on Secret Wars 2015 on our channel, which will deeply travel into the Secret Wars storyline by explaining all the characters' stories in separate episodes. Hope you all enjoy my list of cosmic events that occurred in the Marvel Universe, and soon there will be a second episode of the Secret Wars series, let me give you all a clue of which superhero story is next. That I was anything more than the assassin they made me. If you guess who is it, then let me know in the comments section, and also let me know your favorite cosmic event you are eagerly waiting to occur in the MCU. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.